Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today for my Disney movie marathon, I'm just talking about the movies and whatnot, of course. So I guess in this case, it's going to be one of the openings for a ride, I believe, kind of a thing, I guess. So just thought I'd talk about it. Of course, it's going to be Frozen themed, of course. And yeah, so this is going to be Disney's Frozen themed land. It's supposed to be opening in 2023 with new rides or whatever. So, okay. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a, this kind of a thing. For instance, each theme park around the world will be celebrating the Walt Disney's company 100th anniversary. And many new attractions are said to be coming to both Disneyland and Walt Disney World in the United States. One of the things, of course, is this right here, this kind of theme park and whatnot. It's going to be opening this year, I believe, at some point. Uh, I guess I'm assuming I think it's in a way, of course. So there's that. It's going to be opening this year uh, at the uh, Walt Disney Studio theme park in Paris and Hong Kong, Disneyland. So, of course, there's more than, uh, I guess, uh, Theme parks, like the each one gonna have its kind of its own thing in some ways, and so yeah, this seems like a pretty good idea to do. And since Frozen seems to be like a pretty popular thing anyway, so I can see why they would do that. Makes sense, financially speaking. But yeah, so Disneyland Paris has undergone some massive changes anyway to begin with. They are currently going to be celebrating their 30th anniversary since this theme park has been around for quite a while. And Walt Disney Studios Park opened its version of Adventures Campus in the summer of 2022, while Disneyland Paris version is very similar to the Adventures Campus at Disney at California Adventures of Theme Park in the, in the U.S. Then this can be the Brand new Frozen Land will be completely new and never seen before in any park, really. Near the Kingdom of Arendelle, we will also have this like short walk away for, from the Avengers uh, campus thing, of course. Which, yeah, of course, can be a, a pretty cool thing, obviously. So, okay. Could have an Elsa thing on it and whatnot. So, that seems like a cool way to um, do some things when it comes to these characters, of course. I mean, I see why not. It's a good way to attract people. And that's kind of the point when you think about it. And for a lot of families to come here or just by yourself, not that I'm going to judge here, you will come alone. But yeah, no judgment here whatsoever. But anyway, like I was saying, so yeah, this is, good. This is an unofficial thing. Like I said, I guess assuming if nothing gets in the way, there's going to be uh, a lot of things to be noticeable when it comes to the Kingdom of Arendelle. Of course, it would be Elsa's Isaac Castor. Of course. Like, okay, I, I can see why they would want to do this. It makes sense. So, yeah, the thing is that the, the, the Icy Castor would be there. That she built during the sequence of Let Her Go from the first film. And it's going to be pretty damn tall. And uh, on this, uh, this snow-covered mountain, I believe, according to what was set in some blog for the Disney parks. So yeah, that'll be a good way to um of course you know take some photos of it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to go inside. I I don't think so, but it'd be cool if you'd be able to though. That'd, that'd be pretty awesome. So yeah, this is something that I thought I would discuss of course and whatnot. So yeah, this is supposed to be a land itself that we're pretty supposed to embrace uh, the visitors into the water frozen along with the castle. Um, there's gonna be stuff like I like citizens of Arendelle, of course, interacting with people and whatnot. So, have this new experience include a frozen attraction kind of a thing in the new frozen ride. You get to see and get into this journey with some of the people's favorite characters, of course. So, that, that's that's really good. So there's a chance to meet the these characters as well in this royal meet and greet kind of a thing that people can visit after people would shop in this village and actually eat. 
in the Norwegian inspired restaurants and whatnot. So that's cool. I mean, you're gonna have some food in there somehow, which is fine, obviously, because people would want to relax for a little while. I'm pretty sure they would serve drinks as well with the food, I guess. I'm not too sure what kind of drinks they would have, though. Come to think about it, actually. But anyway, yeah, I I, I remember Air Force and I, we went to a, a, one of the Disney theme parks, and that's what we did. Had some food, had some drinks. I even, yeah, I even did like a video for it a while back. Uh, like years ago. Oh, boy, it's been, it's been a good while. But, so yeah, there was that, of course. Yeah, good times. Good times. Definitely gonna make some memories, of course, folks. Because why not? But yeah, this is definitely a thing that people can, of course, can find. The, this is the kind of thing I, I can say, it's just supposed to fun out all the place. I guess this gives them more of a reason to go there, of course. The frozen theme land would be connected to some other, I guess, places or ports. Which at the moment is under construction, I think, if I remember correctly. But yeah, with, um, okay, what about the dates to be given for when this can be open? I don't know. I'm not sure, really. But, but yeah, this is definitely something I want to talk about, of course, real quick, I guess. So from what I heard, people would be able to experience this kind of thing before uh, 2024 comes around. So hopefully... This would be done in the nick of time, of course. It'd be good if it would be able to, of course. So obviously, there's people interacting, uh, the cast members. It'd be just uh, dressed up as some characters, of course, and whatnot. I mean, it makes sense. Again, like I was saying, it doesn't, you're just going to make them a lot of money for this kind of a thing. And by it means, go for it, obviously. So... Yeah, this just seems like an, a pretty good excuse to talk about the, the theme parks. And, which I've done before. So, which I've done before, obviously. So, of course, I'm going to have to use this as a way to talk about at some point, of course. Seems seems like a good idea. Anyway, like I was saying is that, so, unlike Disneyland Paris, Di Hong Kong Disneyland does have a date for when can ask, anybody can visit their version of this theme park. Uh, Water Frozen is what it called, I believe. So it was announced at some expo that Water Frozen will be opening in the second half of 2023, up and again in Hong Kong, Disneyland. As for the Disneyland Paris, I'm not sure. But anyway, so this is definitely something that has been worked on. And they obviously put a lot of uh, faith, faith into this, of course, and whatnot. I can see why they would do it, of course. The Water Frozen is also just going to have include include um mini attractions, of course. Compared to yeah, the one in Hong Kong, it's going to have more attractions than the one from Paris. That version, I guess, from what I heard. So yeah, there's going to be a, actually a roller coaster, a frozen roller coaster in the Hong Kong Disneyland, from what I hear. So okay. So that's okay. Uh, that's definitely something that's to be excited about. So there you go. Yes, of course. There's a bunch of stuff to talk about when it comes to this kind of thing. And yeah, this is definitely one of the things I want to just discuss real quick. Of course, because of the fact that yeah, lots of to speak about. A lot like a long laundry list of you know things to focus on and whatnot. So this is something I've been meaning to talk about anyway. So it's been a good minute. A pretty good minute. So, yeah, it's going to be, of course, a few things that's going to be done. It's, it's a slow progress, I guess you're saying, which is basically what it is, a very slow progress. But anyway, I thought I'd do this real quick, folks, because it's something Frozen related again. Of course, I'm going to talk about that, of course, in one way or another. I just thought I'd just talk about this because I was saying it's a theme park. I discussed the theme parks before, and I thought I would speak about this kind of a thing. Concerning the fact that this is something that be was brought up and whatnot, so yeah, there's gonna be a lot of things to become, of course. So having a trip to one of the Disney theme parks it doesn't seem like a bad idea for this time of year. So yeah, I mean, assuming you have to um, and afford it, of course. 
Let's save it up because, like they said, the one from Paris, it doesn't have a specific date. But anyway, thanks for watching and take care. Next time, see you.